Morning folks, um, I'm off out tonight with two missions in mind. Firstly, try a new Berghaus Vulcan for the first time, can't wait to do that. Uh, and secondly, to witness a really rare astronomical event that hasn't happened for 33 years since uh, 1982. And it won't happen again for 18 years, 11 days, and give or take, 8 hours. It's a full moon, a super moon, and a full lunar eclipse. And after tonight, although super moons happen annually, all three won't happen together again until 2033. It's all happening tonight because the Sun, Earth and Moon are in syzygy, or a straight line. Syzygy happens every time there's a full moon, but tonight's special because the Sun and the Moon are in exact opposition to the Earth, leaving the Moon in the darkest portion of the Earth's shadow. The sunlight refracting through our atmosphere is what gives it the red tint. Coupled with near-perfect viewing conditions, it'd be rude not to. So I'm going to get myself out tonight, try and get it on camera, and uh, next time I see you, it'll be in the classroom. Well that's an absolute winner, thank you very much Steph, that's a very comfortable load and uh, the side pouches, I just, why didn't I go back to side pouches earlier, you know, getting your essentials out is just so quick, so easy without having to uh, unstrap the main compartment, yeah, I'm really pleased with that, thanks. And yes, Captain Morgan's is definitely an essential. Strong lids. Huh. Nothing wrong with the caps. First one of the evening is always the best, isn't it? There'll be plenty more. Got a lot of moon watching to do tonight. Right, let's go for a bit of a walk in the dark, see if we can catch a bit of that full super moon, shall we? That is making it look like daylight. It's really bright. I don't think the camera's getting it. Just at the bottom of the screen there's like new saplings and I can see every single one. It's really bright. I've come about a quarter of a mile from camp up a hill to where I know there's a big open expanse. And there she is, a bit of infrared moon. And that ladies and gentlemen is a full super moon. It'll be a ready colour later as it goes into full lunar eclipse about three in the morning. It's a cracker isn't it? Been waiting for a bit of cloud, show it off a bit better. That is pretty special. They come in sets, super moons. This is the second of a set of three. Um, the next full moon's a super moon too, but it won't be red like this one will be. Super moons happen when they're at their closest point to Earth, and uh, this time it's 7% bigger in the sky and 16% brighter. This sort of thing used to be a bad omen that signalled the end of the world. <laughs> But when I was googling info on this one, I, uh, I did, did have to have a chuckle at one of the links you could click on. Uh, doomsday prophecies that never came true. Well, we're all still here, so all of them surely. <laughs> having real trouble picking it up but uh, there she is all red
Hello, Moon Horse. Hey, what do you make of all that then? That bright moon. Well, that was fantastic. Proper little night walk. I do love a bit of moon watching. And this is certainly the night for that. I think I'm going to get myself back to camp, get a bro. Light myself a fire. And warm my freezing cold hands up. Nice bit of uh, pre-chopped bratwurst. Nice little egg. And the all-important wrap. Whoa. And there you go. Just wanted to catch a couple more shots before I call it a night. I can't do this again for nearly two decades, so I think it's probably worth staying up for. It's about 5.15am. She's out of eclipse now, heading towards moonset in the west. And the other side of the wood, the sun's coming up. Well, it's been a very late night, but uh, when else are you going to see a full moon, super moon, full lunar eclipse? I'm going to get myself back to camp and get some sleep. Good night, YouTube. Morning, boys and girls. First order of the day, cup of coffee. It's absolutely buzzing with life here. It's great. Little fella. Clumsiest dog ever. <laughs> Knock the stove over. Put slaver all over my 58 pattern mug. That is not cappuccino froth. Nice. <laughs> hey Pooch Just a couple of messages before I go um, Firstly Todd, sorry you couldn't make it mate um, There will always be a place for your books in the classroom So don't worry, we'll get together And um, we'll get something sorted out And uh, secondly, Steph I salute you sir The Burghouse, just the best backpack I've ever owned Plenty of room, comfortable to carry uh, Loads of compartments Really easy pack away and carry Cheers, I really appreciate that Well, that sad time is upon me. Good to go home to the girls, but uh, sad to leave. You know how it is.